Welcome to Mosquito and Aquatic Weed Control of Charlotte County, your comprehensive guide to understanding and combating these pesky insects. In this series of informative videos, we will explore the world of mosquito control and provide you with the essential knowledge to protect yourself and your loved ones from these tiny yet formidable creatures. I'm Beth Kovach, Biological Specialist with Charlotte County Mosquito and Aquatic Weed Control, and I'm going to be talking about labels and calibration. It's extremely important to follow the label. The label is law. Um, everything is registered by the EPA, and as long as we're following the label to a T, then uh, we are reducing any potential impacts to the environment and uh, getting our targeted results that we're looking for. So one of the ways we're, we're ensuring that we're putting out the proper amount of chemical is through calibrations. We do this either annually or on an as needed basis. What this entails is allowing the chemical to run for one minute and catching it into a beaker and measuring it. This is called a catch test. So what this does is tells the computer um, different chemical outputs at different simulated speeds that the computer is telling the truck to go. This is called variable flow rate. As the truck is driving, uh, it can only spray between five and 29 miles per hour. And the chemical output will adjust to the speed of the truck. So the faster the truck goes, the more the output will be so that we are consistently putting out the same amount in the same area. What we also do is something called droplet testing, where we, actually use a specialized piece of equipment that we call the wand and we place this into the spray cloud and what this does is actually measures the droplets as they're passing through a sensor and it tells the computer program exactly what uh, micron range we're falling within and we want to make sure that it's going to be just the right size to a be able to impinge onto a mosquito and B, if the droplets are too small, they're just going to potentially blow away in the wind. Or if they're too large, they may fall too quickly um, and not have enough time to impact the flying mosquito. With the helicopter, we do our droplet testing using a slide spinner. So we have two Teflon slides that are on a spinner and the helicopter will pass over and those slides will actually catch the droplets as they're falling. And again, we have specialized software that will actually measure the size of the droplets for us and let us know that we are within the right range of droplet size. If you are interested in any more information regarding this topic or any other topics, please visit our website or call our mosquito control hotline at 941-764-4370.